What's up everyone, Vu of Envu Films here, and I'm back with another idiotic video for you to watch. Today I have a mini tripod. Some other YouTubers have called it the Joby Killer. And I would tend to agree because this, Jeez. you know, I have no idea how to pronounce this. It's spelled S-I-R-U-I, Sirui, Sirui. I mean, considering I have all of this made in China stuff to make my YouTube studio. I don't even know what this made in China item, how to pronounce it or whatever. But anyway, the model number is 3T35K and it is awesome. So as you can see, it's set here like a tripod. And if you want to make it like some type of selfie stick, you just do this. Right now I have an Ace 6400, I don't know why I keep saying it's Alpha 6400, and it is mounted with the 1728 Tamron. And, you know, this is like the small setup for the, the tripod. And you could vlog like this, you know, you just set the angle like so, and you can vlog like this, or you could extend out the tripod section and then you could vlog like this, or if you want, you could even extend out the other section of the tripod, monopod looking thing, and you could even vlog like this. But if you want to put it down as a tripod, you just simply set it like this, and you, you hear that? You lock it, and it is now a tripod action and I don't think I locked it. Now I locked it and now it's tripod action. Pretty stable. Not too hard to uh, knock over, but you know, you shouldn't be playing around like that with your gear anyway. So also the mounting plate actually fits perfectly with the um, Peak Design Arca Swiss plate that you use on all of pretty much the uh, Pro clip. So it fits on the quick release plate, works with the Peak Design dual plate or the single plate. So you just put it on like this and you tighten it down like so. And there you have it. Now, Beyond just being a nice vlogging stick or a nice micro or mini tri... Beyond just being able to use this as a vlogging stick or travel tripod setup, um, you could actually use it to help yourself film and keep your uh, video stabilized. You know, I know some of you travel vloggers, uh, you know, you could easily set it up like this, put it up against your body like so, and you can get that nice stable shot of that random chick in a thong that you could use in your travel video thumbnail. You know what I'm talking about, the one where it's like, I can't believe what happened in Bali, and it's like a, it's like a thumbnail of some chick's thong, and you click it, you don't, the video, and you don't see any girls with thongs, you just see the dude wa walking around Bali, talking, and next thing you know, he's talking about how he's sponsored by Canon, and um, you know, he has some travel guide he's trying to sell. So you know exactly what I'm talking about. This is perfect for that nice, stable thong shot for your thumbnail of your of your YouTube video, the clickbait vid video. I'm not saying that I ever clicked those videos, I'm just saying that's what I've been noticing on those thumbnails that I don't watch, I just heard people talk about it. But, so, um, you know, with that in mind, I actually went out and filmed my daughter for a bit um, using this exact technique, and I actually had an example of how I vlogged with this setup um, using the Tamron 1728. Really quick, I just walked around vlog like this. Um, just to see how it's like, just see how the angle is, how stable it is. And I actually used it as like a, 
stabilizer like so. Like I, I showed you, like this. I kept it against my body. I just moved my hips and, you know, try to get stable footage. I even like went down like this, held the monopod like this, pushed, I, the key is to hold the lens, take this hand, push forward, take this hand, push back to give you that two points of stability and all you move is your body. And I was able to get some pretty nice push-in shots, um, nice panning shots like this with this thing. Um, it's no gimbal, um, but at the same time, it's also not as cumbersome as a gimbal where you have to sit there and balance it. Um, it's heavy. It's wobbling around. I'm sorry, I'm checking my, my sound wall back here because I just put gaff tape on it for the time being and it's been like falling off. So like, I've actually been stopping this video multiple times to tape that stuff back on. Uh, so that's why I'm doing that. But anyways, let's uh, roll the tape, see how it looks like. Hey, what's up everyone? Vu of Envu Films again. And I'm currently testing out my new vlogging rig. It's a uh, Tirui um, Chinese tripod. I try to put the model number in the video, but right now I'm holding the tripod at about not even arm's length, kind of slightly bent, and the, the tripod is not fully extended. Um, but I think I will extend it a bit further and see what it looks like. This is my arm fully extended, and the tripod pretty much fully extended. Taking a walk with my daughter there. So I'm actually going to switch I'm actually going to switch the lenses out. Right now I'm using the Tamron 17 to 28 uh, full frame glass, but I'm going to switch it over to the 24 millimeter GM because I just like using primes better. And I'm actually gonna try to get some nice cinematic footage using the 24 millimeter. And I'm gonna use this tripod as like a, a rig to help me stabilize footage. So as again, this is Alpha 6400. I'm on 17 to 28 and I'm gonna switch over to the 24 millimeter G Master um, and I'm gonna use this Siri vlog tripod Thunder to get some footage be back <laughs> good. Good job. Good job. I hope that was satisfactory in terms of what you can do with this um, tripod. Um, again, you know, just to go over the features, it's this the low main, the the the, the, the C Rui, C -C Rui tripod. It's pretty much. This small packed up. There's even a chain here for you to just hang it off your backpack. Um, 
I mean, it comes with a bag and all this stuff. I'm not gonna really show that, but, and then this is tripod mode. Lock. And then you put this here to, ex to extend it out. And then this is, I guess, this is for this here. And this is for this here. And it, when it locks, it locks pretty tight. You know, it's not really going anywhere. Um, overall, pretty nice. You know, it better be, you know, it costs about 80 bucks or something for this little thing. These Chinese people, they're taking over this video game, all right? DJI with their Ronins and their drones. Ziyun with their, with their uh, gimbals. Um, what else? Aperture, I don't know if they're Chinese or not, all these lights. This dang LED light over here is freaking Chinese. Um, yeah, this Godox light right here, key light. Straight, made in China. I'm not made in China. I look like I'm made in China, but I am not made in China. I'm made in Vietnam, which was probably made in China. Uh, anyways, I normally have a Canon joke, but uh, I don't today. Yeah. Till next time, lighten up. Literally, like, lighten up your gear, you know, stop carrying around 1DXs, you know, and, like, 5D Mark IVs and stuff to, to vlog and, and to film stuff that looks soft. Like, get high-quality cameras. You get a Fuji, Sony, GH5, maybe, if you can manual focus while vlogging. I don't know who does that, but look at this. Sony, Alpha, Alpha 6400, 4K, great autofocus, lightweight, over there lugging around like a big old, take a joke once in a while, and lighten up your gear. Stop lugging around big old DSLRs, go mirrorless. I'm not talking about like Canon mirrorless, like that's, that's, uh, how do you call it? That is Monday and Thursday. That's garbage days here where I live at. All right, lighten up.